international asylum and migration are a complex phenomenon that affects our daily lives in an increasingly interconnected world. Since the beginning of 2018, around 36,000 migrants and refugees entered Europe by sea. Driven out by violent conflicts and extreme poverty, thousands attempt to reach Europe in smugglers' boats that are unfit for open water. Europe and the Middle East have been grappling with the refugee crisis since the conflict in Syria erupted in 2011. While in Africa, high poverty rates and instability have pushed hundreds of thousands out. How do these refugees and migrants flee their countries? The first challenge that migrants face is agreeing with smugglers to walk the road until they reach the launching point. There's two popular routes that migrants and asylum seekers are taking. From African countries across the desert to reach Libya, while migrants from the Middle Eastern countries usually go to Turkey. Since January 2015, about 468,977 refugees and migrants have reached Italy. Of those who disembarked, 90% departed from Libya. The majority of them were from Eastern and Western Africa. At the same time, more than 1 million refugees and migrants have reached Greece. Nearly half of them were Syrians. Others were from Afghanistan, Iraq, Pakistan and a range of other countries. The second challenge that migrants face through their trip is the protection challenges along these corridors. Human rights challenges include deaths at sea, in the desert and in other transit locations, missing refugees and migrants, physical and emotional abuse, sexual and gender-based violence, human trafficking, arbitrary detention, forced labor, and extortion. Migrant smugglers have been instrumental in these movements, making significant profits and at times engaging in abuse and exploitative practices. The third challenge, the dangerous sea trip. Since the beginning of 2018, about 800 people have drowned, while 35,455 others have made it. The fourth challenge, Instead of working to understand and address the drivers of migration, European countries have built walls and made deals to send asylum seekers back to compasses in Libya or Turkey. The fifth challenge that migrants face if they manage to reach Europe is being kept in camps in Greece or Italy. The implementation of the EU-Turkey and EU-Libya deals, coupled with the closing of borders along the Western Balkan route, left refugees stranded. The goal of the deal was to halt refugees' trajectory into Europe. More insidious forms of discrimination can involve restricting freedom of movement outside of camps and limiting or denying employment rights. Host governments may also neglect to provide refugees and asylum seekers with identity documents. Even when migrants reach the peaceful zone, some fights are still ahead. Those who make it face the last challenge. Not death or separation, but discrimination. Media and Politics 1. Discrimination against refugees and migrants has been on the rise in many parts of the world. 2. Barely a day goes by without multiple media reports focusing on negative aspects of migration. 3. Populist extremist parties exercise an outside influence over European politics during the year. Refugees frequently experience widespread hostility and intolerance. Recommendations Euro Med Monitor calls for protecting refugees as stated in the Dublin Convention, the European Convention on Human Rights and the New York Declaration for Refugees and Migrants, holding those responsible for incitement and discrimination against refugees accountable. EU countries must take all appropriate measures to comply with their international obligations 
while handling the refugees. The international community must fully support EU countries in order to cope with refugees as part of a shared responsibility.